Okay, um, we're going to call this video uh, anger as a habitual response. So, um, and anytime you hear the word habitual, right, it's something that have become a habit, something that you have repeated over and over again until it becomes second nature. And here it's, it's referring to anger as a habitual response. And in reality, um, it's the aggression, right? The aggression associated with anger, because again, anger is the emotional arousal. But here um, we tend to use ang anger interchangeable with uh, or synonymously with uh, aggression. So uh, we're going to call this anger as a habitual response. So when you when you've gotten in the habit of always dealing with situations or when you're trying to get your way or trying to address the situation and you do it by yelling, screaming, cussing, using profanity or threatening people, um, you know, threatening to do harm to them and stuff like that it becomes a habit over time and, and you get used to doing that. And, uh, and so again, it, 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 it begins to push people away, right? It begins to push people uh, away from your circle. But if you have got results, right? Because we tend to go back to the things that we get results. And of course, I mean, why would we do anything else? Right? So if you get results from something, then you go back and do it. Like, let's say if you start a, a, a business venture, and um and, and you and you set a certain plan and you you start going out there and you test test the waters or whatever and you get good results you're going to keep repeating that behavior because you're getting uh, the desired effect right and with anger um if your desire is to have someone you know let's say leave you alone and not uh continue to bother you or not uh continue to talk crap or whatever um, and you notice that, OK, when I yell at this fool or if I threat uh, or threaten people, they back up off me, they leave me alone or they give me what I want. Then, yeah, you're going to keep going to uh, resorting to that type of behavior. The problem is that there are consequences associated with that. Sometimes there are legal consequences associated with it. Uh, but more often there are emotional uh, consequences associated with it, including um you know uh disrupting and and maybe tearing up uh friendship uh relationships uh significant other uh relationships um relationships with our family and friends people that that really truly care about us right um uh you know because again i was one of those people that pushed people away uh from me due to my behavior and i didn't really realize it at the at the time Right. But now I see it and now I, you know, I, I deal with it as well. You know, I have people that um, that have pushed me away as far as emotionally. Right. Uh, from them um, due to the same type of behavior, the same things that I used to do. So I get it. You know, I understand some of what they're going through, but. I still can't. Um, deal with the person in the same way um that i that i deal with people who do not um respond to me or act act uh with me in that manner right so i've learned or i've tried to learn i've tried to learn to um deal with people in a more appropriate way if i do uh come out of line because none of us are immune from you know possibly losing it from time to time that's why we have to be uh mindful and and stay consciously aware of how our behavior is um affecting other people that's very important because generally you know we're we're more concerned with how their behavior is affecting us or what benefit we can get from how we're acting but we pay little attention to how our behavior is affecting other people and that's very important because the energy we put out there have a tendency to come back around, even if it doesn't come around from that person, right? Sometimes it may come around from other people, right? And especially if you are a very um, aggressive person uh, uh, of the bully type, right? Sometimes you'll have people that may have nothing whatsoever to do with the person who you're bullying or that you're being aggressive towards, but they just get tired of hearing your mouth, right? And so they may um, address it with you. And maybe you don't care. Maybe you somebody like to, you know, throw them hands or, or whatever the case may be. 
right? But you don't want that type of energy. You don't want uh, to create situations where um, you're unnecessarily um, getting enemies, right? Uh, even if you're confident in your ability to defend yourself, because one, um, yes, the person may come up to you and challenge you and you don't have no problem with throwing hands, but not everybody even going to come at you straightforward, right? They might just decide, you know, I'm just tired of hearing this person's mouth. And while you're thinking you're uh, relaxed, safe, maybe uh, discuss hanging with someone or whatever, and they blindside you or anything, right? Or even, even if that doesn't happen, right? Just the emotional consequence of pushing people away because in your in your own mind you start to uh wonder like dang man why why people um uh you know always you know try to get away from me or why people why I'm not invited to the to the gatherings or to the party or to the you know to get together the family uh outing or whatever right because you're an asshole right because you're a freaking asshole that's why um and until and unless we come to that understanding and realize that we push people away, it's not that um, people don't like us or they don't care about us or that they wish any bad on us, but we have a tendency to push people away when we let anger become an, a habitual response, right? So we want to learn other ways to dealing with anger um, other than being aggressive, right? We want to learn more assertive ways of dealing with anger and talking to people. Also, um, learning other ways to, to change our perspective on the situation. Because again, a big part of the reason why we suffer from some of the anger issues we suffer from is due to the perspective. We tend to look at everything from the most negative point of view rather than, um, trying to, to, rather than trying to take a neutral stance or uh, trying to see the other person's point of view, right? And it's important to see the other person's point of view, whether you, whether you like, care about the person or not. It's always helpful to try to see the other person's point of view and to try to look at the situation as honestly as possible. 